I'm Andy Goldberg with Action Coach, working with good businesses who are looking to grow and who are prepared to do whatever it takes to get your business to the next level. Today, we're going to talk about something a little bit different. We're going to talk about how to get long-term results in your business, long-term improvement and long-term growth. And it starts with this picture of an iceberg. In fact, we call this the identity iceberg. But let's explain, first of all, why we use an iceberg. How much of an iceberg can you actually see in the ocean? Typically, I think it's about 15 to 20 percent of an iceberg is above the surface of the water, and the majority of it is below the water, and we can't see it. And human beings are very much the same. When you first meet somebody, you can really only see what's on the surface. And what is on the surface of a human being? Well, we can see a person's actions. In other words, what they do. We can see that it's plain and visible. We can see a person's behavior. How they behave, how they communicate. What their appearance is and how they dress. All the choices that a person makes about their behavior and of course the decisions that they make. So we can see what they actually choose to do and in, 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 in terms of their business and their life and what they say and so forth and so on. We can see this stuff that's above the surface. What we don't know about a person or what we can't see about a person, certainly when we first meet them is, well we don't know what their skills are. In other words, we don't know what they know. We can infer potentially what their skills are based on their actions. And I'll give you an example. When, we, when my wife wants to hold a dinner party, for example, and uh, we invite friends over, my wife cooks a really lovely meal because she knows how to cook. When I hold a dinner party and invite friends over, I order in a Chinese or pizza because I don't know how to cook at all. So my actions are very much determined by, our skill, by my skill sets. We only do what we know how to do. And that makes sense. If you think about it, when was the last time you did something you didn't know how to do it? We're limited in our actions by our skill sets. So a person's um, beliefs when we first meet them, we can't see what their beliefs are. Now how would you define the word belief? We use the word all the time, but do we really know what a belief is? I define a belief as something you hold to be true. Now that doesn't necessarily make it true, but it might as well be true to you because that's what you believe in. It's true to you. So an example of a belief, um, and we often have limiting beliefs, and that keep us from achieving results we want. And I'll give you an example. I met a butcher uh, quite a long time ago in my career, and I asked the butcher what their biggest challenge is, and they said, well, the biggest challenge is that people don't buy meat from butchers anymore. They buy their meat from uh, Tesco's and the, the big four supermarkets. And butcher is a dying industry. And when we looked deeper into what this butcher was actually doing in their business to grow it in terms of marketing, keeping in touch with their customers, adding value, all, all the fundamentals in business, well, you can guess what we discovered. He was doing nothing, and his business results were reflected in that way. So once again, his beliefs, or limiting beliefs, were determining what his actions are and decisions were in his business. You don't know a person's values. And how do you define the word value? Again, it's a word that we use quite often, but do we really understand it? In simplest terms, I define values as something we hold to be important. It's important to us. And you can see the pattern where this is going. Our values very often determine our actions and behaviors and decisions. So for example, if you value your health, you're probably less likely to smoke cigarettes. Okay. Um, if you value family, then you're probably going to work in a job or run a business that enables you to get home in time to have dinner with your family or do your homework with your kids or whatever. And then finally, that leaves identity. Now I define identity basically any sentence that starts with I am is an identity statement. It's how we see ourselves and how we identify ourselves.
So you can identify yourself as I am a father, I am a husband, I am a business owner, I am an entrepreneur. I worked with a business uh, and other butcher as it happens where when I first met him I said what do you do for a living? He says I am a butcher. How did he spend most of his working week? Well you can guess he was butchering meat. After a year of working with him if you asked him what he did for a living he would say I am a business owner. I own a butcher's business. How did he spend most of his time then? Well he spent most of his time actually working on the business to grow it. So his identity actually determined his actions and his behaviors as well. So why am I taking you through this, uh, the bottom part of this iceberg? It's very simple. These things that are below the water level determine our actions and behaviors and decisions. Now where do our results come from in our business? Our results come from what we do. Quite simply, what we do up here determines our results. But what determines what we do up here? It's what's down here. And there's good news and bad news. We can change our actions and behaviors and decisions like flicking on a light switch. Okay, That's simple to change these. We can do it quickly. But down here takes longer. It takes longer to learn new skills. It takes work to learn new skills. It's harder to change our belief system. But if we want to change our results, we need to change our actions and our behaviors and decisions. And if we want to change our actions, we need to change some of these things down here, which are longer and take more work, and we don't see an immediate result necessarily. But this is where we see long-term growth and improvement in our business. This is where we see short-term growth and improvement in our business. And it's all determined, ultimately, by our environment who we're hanging out with, what we're listening to, who we're listening to, what we're reading. Are we reading the news, which is 90% bad? Or are we reading self-improvement books and business books? And things that are actually going to develop the skills necessary to take the right actions to get the results that we want. So when you're looking at the results you're getting in your business and you're not happy with the results and you want to change something, don't just ask, what do I need to do to get a different result? Ask, what do I need to learn? What beliefs do I need to be challenging? What beliefs do I have that I need to get rid of? What are my value systems? Because my values are very much reflected in my behavior, so if I want to change something up here, maybe I need to take a good hard look in the mirror at my own values. And how do I need to change my identity? What environment do I need to hang out with? Who am I hanging out with? Am I going to the pub and complain about their work or complain about the economy? Or am I hanging out in an environment of motivated, ambitious people who are always looking to learn? So take a look at your results. Ask yourself where on this identity iceberg you need to work on and then get to work. Good luck. I look forward to hearing of your success.